everybody. This is my first tree using NG plant. Pretty cool. These are my branches. And I have uh, tweaked each branch. So, if I select this branch and I reduce it, That looks interesting. Uh, I'm getting crazy effects right now because I tweaked uh, the main branch and its variations are pretty crazy. So let's move on to the next branch. If I adjust this, it will have less branches. Now it looks very pretty. Okay, if I go to the next branch and I adjust its density, I get really strange effects. That's pretty nice. Let's uh, rotate that. Awesome. Okay, now the main branch is our first branch. And if I go to the stem of that, and adjust the phototropism that is basically its uh, gravity. So if I adjust this so it's up, then it has no gravity and it looks very pretty straight up in the air. And if I adjust the additional branches, let's say I adjust the phototropism of this branch, now its branches are going to be facing upwards. <laughs> Pretty extreme. Um, let's die that down just a little bit. Okay, a little bit more. And a little bit more. Okay, now I want... I've never done this before, but I think... This is the bottom of the, bottom of the tree, and this is the top of the tree. So if I click right there, I imagine that the bottom of the tree will have uh, different results than the top of the tree. Okay, that did something. Awesome, that looks really cool. This program, NG Plant, is open source, and you can use this uh, for commercial use or any projects you want to. I really like the shape of that tree. I'm glad I um, have been messing it with it a little bit. Uh, if I go to the next branch, let's see. First, okay, then this one. Um, let's increase its length. Um, hold on. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to adjust its phototropism. Nothing is happening. I'm not sure why. Maybe let's go to branching density. Okay, there we go. Whoa, that's interesting. Sweet. I can't wait to get this into ZBrush. Okay, the controls of how to use this program if you left click, right click, anything. It, nothing happens. But if you hold down Alt and just move your mouse around, you rotate like this. If you Alt, sorry, if you hold down Shift and Alt, you move up and down, up and down, and that is basically how you move around. I like this tree. Um, let's see. I'm going to try and add a new branch. But I want it on the base. So the, this is basically the tree trunk. So at... Oh, sorry. If you right-click on these uh, branches, you get more options. So I'm going to select the first branch and right-click. Append branch. Uh, new branch. Ooh, right on. 
and then it gives you a whole bunch of uh, stems for your branch and you can adjust the size of your branches with the axis parameters length okay that's going to be really small branches but I want them fairly big and then I think this adjusts the way the, the size of the, um, the branch so this might be the start of the branch and this is the or the base of the branch and this is the end of the branch so if we click on the line and drag that down I imagine the start of that branch is going to uh, I don't know, I'm I'm still learning this program let's click this part of the line and drag it up okay that gives that effect I'm not sure what's going on um, let's try it from the other side so now the bottom okay if you right click on a red line it deletes it okay now I think it's I think it's uh, this is the base and this is the tip so the tip is gonna be or the, the top is gonna be very long but if we adjust this it should be small I don't know what's going on okay so if this was a curve um, I'm gonna figure this out real quick okay that gets really long and then spikes right there I'm not sure what whatever that is doing let's delete some of these lines okay good I'm gonna I'm gonna settle with that and you can adjust the resolution of the branches okay I'm gonna stick with that and then you can adjust its uh, gravity phototropism I hope I'm saying that right so it's gonna go down just like that and then if you move over to branches or branching you can adjust its angle right here nice so it, it spins around the tree that's kind of nice um, hmm I like that uh, let's have some variation to that okay start rev angle or start reverse angle so now it should be moving backwards sweet okay that looks really nice but my tree is getting really totally crazy so I'm probably just gonna leave it at that but this is a tree that I constructed with NG plan. Pretty cool. Um, let's say I wanted to zoom in the top area right here. I would shift uh, middle mouse click to move around and then zoom in with the mouse wheel. Okay, that doesn't have enough resolution so uh, I'm going to move backwards I think that was the third branch stem resolution well let's zoom out okay resolution 100 that might be too much oh that's so cool <laughs> cool now it's a crazy plant sweet I like that um, oh maybe it's doing that weird loop-de-loop -loop thing because of this phototropism so if I add some more craziness you've got to select right on the line okay yeah, that did something. Cool. Okay, I I like the way it was before, so let's go back. 
right click, right click, okay, let's go back to okay, yeah, that's what I want, okay, good, now I'm going to worry about the colors in another application, so let's try and get this over to ZBrush, sweet, okay, first save it, save as, ng plan, okay, um, well, um, one. Just so I've got a copy of it. Now open tree one just to see if we have it. Yep, okay, there it is. Now uh, export to let's do OBJ. Create self contained directory, yes. Export hidden branch groups, yes. Export branch or branches outside visible range. Sure, that sounds good. Join similar material materials. Sure. Applying scale. Scaling now. Scale to height. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, ng plant. Okay, tree one. And then it's gonna save as. Wait. Hold on. What that do? Export to uh, OBJ, yes, and then just select the folder. So and it's gonna export as an OBJ to ng plant. What happened? Um, maybe I wasn't fast enough. ng plant, okay, OBJ, okay, and then select folder, tree one OBJ. Nice. Okay, let's. Oh, it's exporting. Okay, good. Let's export again. Just to make sure. Uh, no, that's okay. Let's close this. Exit. Exit. Don't crash my computer. I really like this tree that I've made. It's got craziness all over the place, but it's something that I could sell really cool um, and the, the program takes a little bit of getting used to but it's pretty easy once you stick with it for a few minutes okay let's let's close it another way uh, ng plant kill okay good now let's uh, open up zbrush sweet and zbrush should be able to open this unless it exported each little group with like yeah outrageous resolution and stuff <laughs> zbrush right on okay then z plugin uh, oh no i don't have to do that it's not an fbx file it's an obj so probably tools uh import OBJ, yeah. Then uh, let's go up to NG Plant. Right there. Oh, there we go. OBG1. <laughs> or sorry, Tree1. And now Control N to clear the canvas. Hide this and drag to the surface. <gasps> There's our tree. Okay, go to edit mode. Ooh, that's pretty nice. It's only 228,000 polygons, so that's pretty cool. Sweet. This is the tree that we made. Awesome. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, okay. Uh, F to frame. Um, <laughs> I'm wondering how to UV unwrap this. Um, so let's go to polygroups. Group by normals. Yeah, way too many. Uh, no thanks. Group. Uh, regroup by edges, merge, no wait, not merge, um, group visible, shift F to see what's going on, um, group by edge, what's going on, um, okay, let's try to quick save this just in case, UV master, um, doesn't have to be sym symmetrical. 
unwrap. Hope this works. Steps. It's not that big of a mess. It shouldn't be that. Um, polygroups. Oh, that's... Oh, I think I had polygroups enabled. And it doesn't look like there are a lot of polygroups that have been created. But it does look like it up here. So... I just want to put some textures on this thing. Pretty cool. NG plant. I'm still getting used to it, but it looks fairly functional. Um, and it, it's really cool how you can uh, use that gravity slider to make the branches go up or down. I was uh, adjusting the gravity mostly to go down. But like I showed one time, you can go up or do those weird zigzag uh, lines using the graph or one of the graphs. Okay, it's doing something, so hopefully it doesn't crash. Um, it might crash when I try and uh, texture map this there's just too much going on, and the ZBrush can't generate one UV map that is uh, that intense. Possibly. Who knows? If that happens and this crashes, <laughs> an error occurred during this. Well, okay, Shift F, we've got our tree, and this is pretty cool. I could certainly go back into that NG program and make it not so totally crazy. Uh, but look at all these cool smooth lines. It looks very organic from another planet. Awesome. If anybody like this and wants to see more NG plants made or wants to see more of that stuff or any of the other stuff I do, um, please subscribe, like this video, and uh -huh, yeah, we can see that uh, NG plant uh, slider that I was adjusting the gravity of the branches right here. Uh, so it was uh, one direction and then the other side was just fine. And then in the middle it had the uh, crazy lines creating this uh, effect. Pretty cool. Sweet. Okay, let's F and then Shift S rotate Shift S Shift S, Shift S, um, print, or, uh, it's printing the object to the screen. So, Shift S, Shift S, now it looks like I'm a farmer. Pretty cool. I'm gonna have to play with this uh, NG plant program more often. Totally free, so I could sell this stuff just not sure who would want this uh, crazy tree. And one more. Sweet. Cool. There we go. Thanks for watching, everybody.